Wall Street is certainly uh, the heart of why we're here. It's the, the corporations, the big banks in this country have been destroying this country. Lisa Fithian says she's not part of any official group, that this event is the work of many people coming together with the same message. Over fees or high mortgages, student loans, the banks are touching every aspect of our lives. She says banks and the wealthy have taken money for their own interests and their own survival. And the people here are saying enough of that. Inspired by events around the world, she drew the analogy to Tahrir Square in Egypt and says the power of the people is leading to change. I'm here, I'm tweeting, I'm O Alloys for people who might be following on Twitter. The protest was also being streamed live around the world. One protester estimating that at least 5,000 people were watching. People brought sleeping bags and cardboard boxes, planning to spend the night or even a couple of nights. We as the people who are not in investment banks need to come up with a different solution to the way things are going right now. This event was largely organized through a social networking site called Occupy Wall Street. In Lower Manhattan, Nicole Ward, New York One.